So I'm a farmer that grows grain. So I've got to be good at explaining how we plant it, how we grow it, and also how we harvest it with one of these. But the next bit's really interesting too. So where does all the grain go to? So I'm all propped up, ready to go, to share the story of where my grain goes. My grain goes all over the place, and I can use signs like this to show where it goes and who the end user is. The other thing that's good to have to hand is the end product, like this loaf of bread or this chicken feed. There are a whole load of steps to get my grain to the end user. Step one is to decide when to sell the grain and to who. I sell my grain to merchants, to grain dealers, who buy and sell hundreds of tonnes of grain every day. And quite often they use Rob. I took a photograph of him so you can all see him. The thing is, the crops I grow are commodities, just like gold, steel, or even coal. And the price, the world price, is affected by supply and demand. And I can't affect the price in any way. I've just got to go on what it says in here. This is a good thing to show. It shows how the price of grain goes up and down throughout the year. So as a farmer, I want to sell the grain when it's at a high price, not low. Step three, make a contract. And by this, I've agreed to sell a certain tonnage at a certain price for a certain time in the future. I could even sell it before I've harvested it. Or I could even sell it before I've even planted it. Say I sell my wheat for £100 a tonne, but then the world price goes up to £140 a tonne, I've lost by £40. However, if the world price goes down £40 a tonne, I've gained. So the thing to do is to sell a little bit throughout the year, a little and often, and hopefully we can have a good average price for the whole year. Step four is the logistics for getting the grain from the field to where my buyer wants it. And I can use these models to tell the story. When you see a tractor and trailer like this on the road in the summer, it's probably the farmer taking the grain back from the fields to the farm. Throughout the year, great big lorries like this come, well, maybe a little bit bigger than this one, come to the farm and collect the grain and take it on to its next destination. That could be a mill to make it made into chicken food, or it could be to a port. Here's an amazing fact. If this was a real lorry and it was filled with this real wheat, that would be enough wheat to make 29,000 large loaves of bread. Some of my grain goes to the port and then gets loaded onto a ship like this and then goes off to other countries. Grain moves all over the world, from here to here, to here to here, perhaps Australia to further north. So that's how I explain where my grain goes to and how. Farming is magic. <laughs>